So the question always comes up, what about heterogeneous equilibria as opposed to homogeneous equilibria, where the equilibria, the products and the reactants are all in the same phase? Heterogeneous means that the products and the reactants are in different phases. So there's a few things that happen in such a case because there aren't that many different phases we work with. I mean, we've got gas, liquid, solid, and aqueous. If you have a solid, then by its very nature, its concentration is a constant. So we don't even end up putting it in our evaluations of the equilibrium constant. The same thing happens if it's a pure liquid. We won't even worry about those, which means that the only ones we're really worried about are gases and aqueous solutions. The other thing to always keep into mind is that concentration is a totally different concept than the amount of something because the concentration is comparing the moles to the volume as opposed to simply talking about how many moles there are. Let us try writing some equilibrium constant expressions in the case of heterogeneous equilibria. If you look back, you'll find out we haven't done this before. Even though we're almost halfway through this chapter, we're finally getting to this idea. So for number 12, we're going to look first of all at this one. Here's carbon as a solid and carbon dioxide in equilibrium with carbon monoxide. They want it in terms of pressure, a K sub P. Products on top, this is indeed a gas and can give us pressure and this is squared because there was a two up here, over the carbon is a solid. It's not going to be in here. So it will simply be the pressure of the carbon dioxide on the bottom. And that would be the entire expression. The solid doesn't count. It doesn't get put in here. Here's another one. Okay, there's a gas, there's a gas, there's a gas, and there's liquid water. Now, if this was water vapor, it would end up appearing in the expression, but it is not. It is listed here as liquid. So K sub P for this one. The only thing that counts on the products is the pressure of the carbon monoxide. And then when we have the reactants, we have the pressure of the carbon dioxide and the pressure of the hydrogen gas. And that takes care of how to write those in a heterogeneous situation. Solids and liquids do not count. What is the K sub C value of the following reaction at 298 Kelvin if the K sub P value is, well, at the same temperature, and they've given me a number for K sub P. Hmm, okay, well, what's the reaction? Let's take a look. Sodium bicarbonate as a solid in equilibrium with sodium carbonate, also a solid, carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. First of all, I need to figure out what this thing should look like. They want the case of, see if the case of P is this. So this is two concepts mixed together because we had a formula. Then we have to ignore these solids. The formula that we learned was written in this fashion where K sub P could be found from K sub C. And they want us to go, the opposite direction, they've given us this and they want that. I can do some algebra on that and say that this is going to be the other way around and this would end up the RT instead of being a delta N would be a negative delta N. We know what T is, T is 298 Kelvin. R will have to be the uh, gas law version so that's the 0 0.08206 from the gas laws. We're doing equilibrium constants, so I don't need to know that this is liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And what would delta N be? Remember, that's the change in the number of gases. This side has zero. This side has two. So delta N is actually a plus two. It went up, but in the formula, we're going to use it as a minus two. Let's start putting in what we know. They told us the case of P value was the 8.6 times 10 to the negative seventh. We just figured out that R is this, and then I'm gonna to have to multiply it by the T, which is the 298, 
and then raised to the negative two power. When I get done with that, and I round it back after doing my calculations, I have only two sig figs thanks to this one, I will get this. Keep in mind, I don't care about these solids at all. They have no effect on anything. It's only the gases that I care about.